What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul here. And Aquarius, this is your week ahead, energetically. Uh, I'm going to look at some energies for you, starting the 19th and ending on the 25th, 2023. Aquarius, I hope all is well. Happy Juneteenth to all the water bearers out there. And so, to be appropriate, I'm using the Love is Love um, tarot deck. You know, I never even thought to use it from the very beginning. Being that this is Pride Month, right? <laughs> so this is a Pride deck. Anyway, no reversals being read. Let's get underway here to see what's coming up for you this week, Aquarius. Energies for Aquarius. Ooh. All right, so that turned over. We're going to use that in your spread. It's the Two of Wands. It's my timing card. So whatever it is that you're waiting for in two days or two week period of time it shall arrive could be just experiencing some sort of slow stagnation involving a relationship or a project as well All right, here we go, Aquarius. Let's begin. We open up with the King of Wands. Okay, so you're attracting some sort of energy towards you. Um, the King is always focused on something or someone, right? So um, it's a card of intensity. It represents passion, a great deal of passion. Some of you could be experiencing an expansion in your creative um, energies this week. Uh, sexual energy, sexual expression always comes through with the King of Wands. The uh, aspect of the King of Wands is that whatever he is focused on, um, they usually go after it, okay? So that could be, you know, someone new coming in in terms of a relationship or you're just, you know, focused on some other type of energy. It could be a job, could be a project that you were working on, anything, okay? But something is... Um, you know, something that you're leaning towards, that you're focused on, and you're going to go after. Up next is, ooh, okay, could be a relationship, because the lovers is here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you got the major arcana of the lovers, and you know what that means. It just means unity, relationships. Um, this is an open general reading, so it could be business partnerships. But you can expect the aspect of dealing with people throughout the week to be, you know, harmonious, uh, nothing taken out of context, you know, the energy that you're giving to others is what you're going to give back type of scenario. So yeah, being on the same page, seeing eye to eye, nothing out of context for, um, you know, most of you. But I do feel that, you know, the lovers here follows the uh, king of wands. Then, you know, someone is really focused on a relationship and, um, Either you're the pursuer or you're being pursued. Now, they don't necessarily have to be a fire sign either, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but they could turn out to be. Up next, yep, Ace of Cups. So I think the focus for some of you is just going to be in, uh, on relationships in general. Um, so the Ace of Cups here, let me just tell you, it represents pregnancy news, childbirth, new relationships. Um, it could represent... Did I say the job offer? Yeah, job offer, pregnancy news, and um, childbirth, right? Somebody goes deeper. Somebody will be going deeper, expressing themselves deeper towards you because this Ace of Cups here mirrors the King of Wands. So you may be feeling that energy coming in from someone. Keep in mind, though, Aquarius, this is an open general reading. This is not specific about love, you know, romance and stuff. So, but it could be part of that energy. It could be uh, involving romantic partners, definitely family. It could be platonic friends. You could also be expressing yourself to others in the same fashion to the ones that I had just mentioned, family members, romantic partner, and friends. Ace of Cups is here. Following that, the Queen of Pentacles. Well, Somebody is either up for a promotion or a substantial pay raise could be a bonus. Someone could be, you know, changing jobs here because it follows the Ace of Cups where 
you know, the Ace of Cups does um, lead to a job offer. Usually the um, energy of the Ace of Cups when it comes to a job offer is the job that you like or love, that you feel really emotionally good about, or the job that's going to make you happy emotionally. So the Queen of Pentacles here represents your boss in the workplace environment. Creditors, if you need to apply for credit this week, it looks good. Also, there could be some sort of improvement with uh, Aquarians' money, okay? Uh, you may be thinking in terms of uh, a business or you may already be involved in a, vi a business. The Queen of Pentacles mirrors the lovers where I always talk about business partnerships that can be formed or already existing. So if you need to tap into any of the resources or money, it's available through the King, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Or, you know, like I always say that somebody could just view you as the person who is always there for them, someone that they can depend on, rely on. You're very good with, um, you know, money manners. You're willing to help out, you know, and assist. It doesn't always have to be um, regarding finances, but you're there. This person may view you as, you know, a person, you know, like a rock. Someone is always there in their corner. All right, following the Queen of Pentacles, now we have the Strength card. Oh my gosh, the Major Arcana and the Strength card. So any obstacles um, that you may endure or challenges that may crop up for you this week, Aquarius, you're good to go, okay? You're feeling powerful, you're feeling courageous, you're feeling strong. Now, the Strength card mirrors the Ace of Cups, where I said the Ace of Cups mirrors the King of Wands. There's that fire energy again. But also because the Ace of Cups here, it could also represent water energy, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but we do have the uh, pentacles, so that could represent Earth as well. But you're feeling strong. You're feeling courageous. You're feeling passionate. And this, too, represents sexual energy, sexual expression. So anything that, you know, is coming up for you this week that may be, you know, quote unquote seemed like a problem or you know could be a problem well you're going to be overcoming that or have the strength to endure or you know counter challenge that energy this is a very powerful card you know uh, i don't talk about it as much but strength is what it is okay having the strength to do something that is necessary for you to do or just to have the strength to meet any um challenges that are expected or unexpected Next up is the Eight of Cups. Now, again, do not frown on this card here because I've been saying I read the Eight of Cups differently. And for you, Aquarius, is no different. And just to get you to understand what I mean. So the cups are here, right? The guy is walking up the steps. So, of course, this is the Love is Love Oracle deck. So we have a colorful sun. The moon is behind him. And if you can see the fierce look in the moon's eye. This is what you don't want to deal with, all right? So you're walking away from some sort of emotional situation that had nothing to do with you. You're walking towards the sun. that You want to stay positive, okay? So this is going to be like, for some of you, a, a drama-less filled week. <laughs> you know, dealing with other people's shit. You don't want to deal with it, okay? So that's how I'm reading that Eight of Cups for you. You have good sense to, you know... Shield yourself, protect yourself emotionally from other people's stuff because, you know, if you allow people to dump on you, then their problems become your problems and you don't want that, right? Next up now, you are being blessed this week. You have the major arcana, the sun. Look at that. It's underneath the lover's card. Wow. So the sun is a card of blessings. It's a card of happiness. It's a card of joy. It's a card of victory and success. It's the yes answer to all questions, Aquarius, that you may have for yourself. It is my health card, so I could just be reading for Aquarians who work in the health industry, Aquarians who live in Florida, California, as I always point out, or there could be a possibility that there's some sort of future traveling going on and you are going to some place where it's sunny, warm, welcoming. All right. Um, you may be going through uh, routine medical exams or checkups this week. X-rays of all kinds fall underneath the sun's energy. Also, the um, aspect of, you know, um, treatments for cancer, radiation, chemotherapy, all as well. Okay, so the sun is shining and smiling on us this week. Thank God. Up next now, we have the Page of Pentacles. Again, there's the job offer underneath the 
Ace of Cups. So there's three potentials here for job offers or some sort of business, um, you know, involving some sort of money. So it could be a change of jobs. It could be a job offer. It could be uh, starting a business. This is the birth of a business, the start of a business, what's coming to you. The pages always start something or begin something new. Following that, I apologize for that phone call. Queen of Wands here is you're attracting energy, okay? You're attracting energy just like the King of Wands, all right? So there's a stronger driving force of attraction, okay? That energy is coming towards you. This is sexual energy, sexual expression, and like the King, she's focused on something or someone and usually goes after what she's focused on. Again, a greater deal of, you know, creative expansion could be uh, met with, you know, some of you this week, exploring your creative sides, sexual energy, sexual expression. All queens and kings represent all relationships of all kinds for me. The last card is the Knight of Pentacles. Again, I think the uh, whole situation, the whole scenario here is for most of the Aquarians that I'm reading for involves money, relationships, or it could be both. But you have some powerful energy here, okay? You have some powerful energy here. And I feel that there could be some sort of um, connectivity regarding and dealing with other people because you have plenty of people here. You have the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So there's a lot of people here in play. So that could be, you know, people who could be... Um, you know, working on your behalf in terms of projects. It could be also um, interviews taking place when it comes to looking for work, business partnerships. We got the, we definitely got the romance in here somewhere. Okay. Um, and then, so the Queen of Wands, again, like I expressed with the uh, King of Wands, is they're focused on something or someone and they usually go after it. So in this case here, the Knight of uh, Pentacles here, following the Queen of Wands, it could be that there's a focus for some Aquarians to go after that job that they always wanted to, um, you know, land or have, okay, or that promotion. This still would be the job offer. This would be the promotion. This would be the pay raise. Like the Queen of Pentacles here, someone sees you as dependable, reliable, steady, willing to, you know, help out financially. It doesn't always have to be about finances, but they're there. They're, you know, always been there for you in your corner and they become a rock to you. In your shadow, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, you could be just saving up for something greater, holding on tight and secure. It could be love and affection. Uh, towards someone, someone doing that to you. The Knight of Swords here, just like, um, no, just like nothing. You didn't get the Knight of uh, uh, King of Swords. You got the King of Wands. So I always talk about the Knight of Swords in the past. They always are facing in the past. So there may be something that you do related to a past situation. Okay, this is a card of action. This is a card of charging through, you know, decision making, using your logical mind. As opposed to any emotions trying to trip you up. This energy represents your energy. So there's something you have to do. Or you will be taken care of this week. That relates to something from your past. Maybe it's something to do with. Um, it could be a job. It could be a relationship. Whatever that energy is for you. You're about to do something. To, you know. Even more so. Because now we finish off with the third card. The Queen of Swords. So this is the card that uh, is about major moves, major actions and decisions, again, representing your energy. And um, this is a card of communication, gathering facts, getting clear on things, and there's a lot of determination. So using that sword, ready to use that sword to, to strike. So you can apply the Knight of Swords energy, the Queen of Swords energy to any of the energies that have shown up here for your spread, Aquarius, or it could be something totally different. But uh, the feel that I get, though, is that you know, the majority of us should have a splendid week energetically. Keeping our fingers crossed, let's hope that's the case. But anyway, please give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Uh, remember to keep smiling for me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.